can't stand up and model those guys. Do it. Shit is full. <laughs> so Christian, um, Tour of Colorado this year, tremendous result um, with an incredible field there. Talk about that result for you and, and what it meant to you and, and your confidence moving into 2000 as well. You guys aren't falling asleep yet? <laughs> oh, those pants. <laughs> I, I didn't realize how ugly they were until these lights were on them. <laughs> Bozo the Clown. Uh, <laughs> yeah, to of Colorado. Uh, yeah. That was that was great for all of us who had the opportunity to race that race this year. We had a blast. I mean, it was and it's mostly thanks thanks to you guys. And um, from start to finish, I mean, we thought it was a big crowd in, in the Springs. We thought it was a big crowd in Salida. We thought it was a big crowd here. We thought it was a big crowd. In, and asked if that was a big crowd fail, and then we got to we got to Golden. <laughs> that was insane. We, <laughs> we love beer. <laughs> Don't we guys? Um, but, uh, and uh, but yeah, Golden, and then we did the laps in, in Denver. And yeah, I mean, I told everyone that I know, you know, please, if you love cycling, if you love to have a good time, go to Colorado. I mean, Tour de France, it's all right. Perry Tours. It's like 260 kilometers. It's not really my thing, so I thought, how can I screw around with this race? <laughs> I said, you know what? I'm going to wear a skin suit. I'm going to wear a skin suit for 260k and drop my stem and put the biggest arrow wheels on that I have. And, uh, and I did it, and I got in the breakaway, and I think uh, that the uh, passion that I have for aerodynamics is now transferred over into road races and you see all these guys. I see people wearing much tighter clothing and I, I don't know if it was really me that spurned that, but I would like to take the credit for that. In the Tour de France, in the mountains, with like the Schwachs and Contador, what's, what's basically going through your head? Kill me an answer? Well... <laughs> I definitely do not want Dave to answer that. <laughs> that was a close one. But yeah, my favorite climb in... Uh, in Boulder, here's Flagstaff, bar none, and which I did here is, has a, is up for uh, potential stage for uh, Tour of Colorado. So, uh, if anyone's on the board or knows anyone, please influence that decision. Um, but yeah, I love that climb. It's just really steep. It's unique. Uh, it's hard to find steep uh, climbs like that at altitude. So we've got it all here in Boulder. Um, What's going through my mind this year, honestly, was my first experience uh, in the Tour de France, so obviously. So um, the first few stages, you know, were just surreal for me to, to sort of be in the mix and, and sit there. And, and, and then in the end, it sort of became uh, reality, and it was pretty cool on uh, Alpe d'Huez, the final stage. Um, I kind of had a problem at the bottom, got gapped off a little bit, and uh, really had to use my head. And just and just believe in myself, and really that that's what the whole Tour de France was for me was learning to, to believe in myself, and, and that moment on the on the Alpe ways I had to to ride myself back up to the Schlecks and and Cadell Evans, and yeah. and I did it. I was probably 30 seconds down, and, and I just clawed my way back, and uh, with Jonathan's help got up there, um, and then and with 1K to go, I remember looking around and seeing you know Contador just ahead, and and. Uh, the Schleck's right there and, and Kid Eleven's right there and I thought, you know, this is this is the coolest experience. This is what I've dreamed about my entire life and, and now I'm I'm living my dream. So, you know, we saw that movie in the beginning. Um, this is the team, this is where that happens. We we live our dreams.